You know what's the worst thing about coming back to YouTube after not doing it for a long time? Getting audio like this. Maybe it's not here? Oh, sorry, dude. Come back to me eventually. I can barely hear myself! Here we go. Hello everybody, my name is Giovanni the Lost Dog, and welcome back. Well, actually, welcome. Wait, I should say that again. Hello everybody, my name is Giovanni the Lost Dog, and welcome to Super Mario Sunshine Eclipse. I don't know much about the history of this mod. I just, uh, for some other reason or whatever, YouTube recommended me a YouTuber who was playing it. And I watched a good amount of it before I said, screw it, I want to play this and experience it. Um, so here we are. These doors hold the path to true enlightenment. At the end of each path lies a piece of the to open the temple gate. By overcoming these challenges, you will refine your skills and help us escape the temple so I can get back to fishing. Good luck. So here's the thing. This place, um, incredible, looks amazing. And uh, it's gonna be a little disappointing because I did get to play a little bit of it. Rock nozzle is great for uh, verticality. Press the R button to blast into the air. It seems you need to make your way up to these clouds. I wish I could go with you. There seems to be no fish here. I really need to look up the history of this uh, mod. Just to see, like, because uh, I know it's been, like, four years that that's been worked on. But it's crazy to even see a Mario Sunshine anything. Especially since, like, this game could be a real big buggy mess. And it's not a complete game sometimes. That's just my opinion on it. For increased speed tours, try diving after rocketing by pressing B. To have even great forward speed, jump and dive right before takeoff. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh! Okay. Oh, that would've worked. That would've worked. Okay, I need a little more... No. I need to go a little more... Ugh. It's always not horizontal. There we go, baby. Press L to ground pound. Is that a thing in the original? I doubt it. I don't think you could have done that in the original. There's no way. Not after a dive. Oof. There we go. What are you waiting for, Master Mario? Go be a hero and finish the challenge so I can go back to fishing. Turbo nozzle is much faster than before. Press the R button to blast forward. Not too long ago, this old man was very wealthy, yes. I was never very good at uh, roulette, though. So about that failed uh, recording that I showed you guys in the intro, uh, funny enough, I wanted to start YouTube, like just start recording again, and um, real disappointing thing about that is that was, I had like a general response to what I was seeing for the first time in, in this like mod. I haven't seen it much, so I haven't seen like much of what this mod presents. I know there's a lot of cool things. I know that um, Luigi and Piantissimo are playable. I don't know how they're playable, but I know they are playable. 
Uh, I don't... I only got to see, like, a couple of new areas. And... Like... The two new le some two new levels that I guess the creator, the whole team or behind this or whatever, uh, had created. Um, so I'm willing. No, I'm willing to admit that yeah, I, I just wasn't able to get to see everything. Hopefully, I get to experience it all now. Hopefully, I didn't get to see too much. Turbo rocket nozzle. I love how they added this from the Hotel Delfino, uh, what was it called? I think it was a casino. Same thing? Same thing. Seems your mechanical companion has gotten lost. Not to worry, Cricket, you seem to be rather agile. Try long jumping across with Z and A. Huh, but what they don't know is that uh, I changed it to L because <laughs> I didn't. For some reason, I really didn't like using the Z button for that. Press A right after R for an extra height. Okay. This was really cool that they added. I kind of always relied on the spin jump, to be completely honest. I mean, that, that's just cool, but like, I prefer like holding the hover nozzle just to, just to make sure I landed on the platform. Also, this is really cool if you look at the water. <laughs> Fiji water. This is probably my favorite. This is the reason why I did it last. Because when I saw this for the first time, I was so amazed how cool this looks. Like, oh my god, so beautiful. I love it so, so much. There we go, everything is locked now. Ah yes, it seems you have finished your training. Finally. Feel free to return if you desire to sharpen your skills. You can use the uh you can do so by breaking the question block above where again? Seems I've forgotten. Also do remember to visit the game's settings menu, yes? You should find many useful things there. That I'm certain of. Awesome. Let's start our adventure in Super Mario Sunshine Eclipse. Mario? All packed and ready to go, Mario? You've been planning this vacation for a long time now. We're all so excited that you were able to come with. Luigi will join us later, so we'll decide where to go and update him. Do you have any vacation spots in mind? I know you waited a long time for this trip. No matter what happens, I just hope you have a blast. Let's go! Well now, Master Mario, ready to take to the skies? Thank you kindly for waiting for us to finish preparations. Your patience has been invaluable to us all. Yes, indeed. So, this is actually... Um, you're gonna hear the word cool a lot because they recreated um, 64's Peach's Castle all over just from top to bottom. And one of the cool things while I was exploring here um, was uh, this the courtyard. Complete with booze inside. And I just gotta love, like, there's Mario 64 esque coins. And just the Eternal Star looking as beautiful as that. I just love it. Love everything about it. Unfortunately, they... One of the... Oh, also, another thing that I should note. Um, they actually added 
the Mario 64 DS stuff with uh, a block here. Fortunately, it's an unbreakable block from what I remember. It's one of those blocks that you only have to, you can only hit break from the bottom. Uh, but honestly, just breathtaking. I love this so much. They also added this little thing in the front from Mario 64 DS. This maze or whatever. Another amazing detail. But I guess with uh, that out of the way, let's actually head to the island. Concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> so Mario, be careful, I have a bad feeling about this. So, I guess, true to its name, uh, it is incredibly dark in this game. And I really love this, uh, the how, like, the rainbowish shine on the sun right now. But, um, it is just so crazy to see, like, actual darkness in this game. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my cave. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. So, also another thing I feel like, now that I'm replaying Sunshine for, I don't know how long, ever since the 3D All-Stars came out, I kind of want to talk to the Piantas. I never really get a chance to talk to them, and I know there's some, like, good dialogue when it comes to them, and, uh, especially because this is a mod, and they, there are probably some Piantas with new dialogue. Help! Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the air strip. You, you. Have we met before? I feel like I've seen you somewhere recently too. Welcome to Isle Delfino. Step right up, get yourself free travel advice. You jump right after landing a ground pound, you can gain extra height. Safe travels, friends. And I didn't know that. <laughs> Very Odyssey. Love that. Also love how for some reason the goop's all the way over here now.
menacing. Hi, Peach. I'm gonna be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Bright object is not a star. What could it be? It's so bright. I wonder what that thing is. A twinkly thing came out of the ooze. Yeah. Screw all these other tubes. Blue one best, so. <laughs> Let's get the star. Let's go. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned! This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate. But the Graviti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. I love that flood scene. I love it so much. Go straight that way. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. So, now that we're in the game, let's actually start collecting some shines that I already know from the top of my head. So, while we're getting these shines that I guess any other person would just like to get, I, I've always been a fan of just collecting, like, shine sprites that normally the game would just reject. Well, they, they would want me to do the objective first before collecting shines. And I've always just been a fan of that. Uh, 
My History with Sunshine. I got this... I think it's one of the first two games I think I've ever played as a kid. It was Super Mario Sunshine and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So these, both of those games are kind of close to my heart. Um, biggest issue is that as I grew up, um, I when I ended up getting Galaxy, the first Galaxy game, I preferred that game a lot more. I know this game is has its fans and it can be just as, I guess, dramatic and like very like, oh wow, this is Mario's like breaking the law and stuff like that. Um, but the problem was that I preferred Galaxy and Galaxy 2 and 64 over this game. It's, I, I guess in, in the best way to put it is that this game is good. I'm saying it's not. It's just that I never found, like, the... Uh, the best spark with it when it came to like the other 3d Mario games Like in my opinion this is Probably the worst of the like 3d Mario games we have so far um, Only because this game is very unfinished <laughs> so this is just a just so you can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this game. Princess, look! On the statue's head! So, as we're screaming Peach, so the main reason why I say this is because I kind of want to relive Sunshine through the eyes of someone who's kind of fixed it based on what I've heard. Mario, I'm sure I saw that person out on the airship. I'm positive he's responsible for all this. Chase him. That's why I got really invested once I saw gameplay of someone who was playing through this. I was like, man, some of the stuff added in this is so cool, and I kind of just want to experience it. Let's go after Shadow Mario. Bianco Hills, Road to the Big Windmill. Also, if it's not obvious enough, I really love how there's a loading, the little sunshine in the corner in the bottom right, and uh, I noticed when I collected a shine, and it, I didn't have to restart the level. <laughs> like uh, the first shine that I collected. So, I now know that this... I know that this mod makes it so collecting blue coins isn't the hardest thing in the world. And I know, like, unfortunately we did have to lose the map because Z is now replaced by um, the long jump. Uh, fun fact though, if you press pause, bam, shine count and blue coin count. So what I'm going to be doing in this playthrough is I'm just going to see how much I can complete. I don't know all the secrets that the game has for me in, st in store, but uh, I will try my best to find it all. And we're just going to play right through it all. Just to maybe get that spark back that I, that I haven't gotten from Sunshine in a really long time. Because compared to Galaxy and Sunshine, I think it's my least replayed, like, 3D Mario game. Back when I was a kid, like, Galaxy was so cool to me. And I think for a lot of, like, Mario fans, it, it was, it, it's, it's Galaxy. Like, we, we can't, there's no world where Galaxy isn't the, the coolest game. Though, I kind of do prefer 2's gameplay. Story-wise, Galaxy? Oh, beautiful. Love it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, gameplay-wise, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's good in a lot of like places, but 
I think I've had arguments with friends discussing that I vastly, vastly prefer, prefer, <laughs> prefer uh, green stars over the purple coins in that game. Just a, a small nitpick. I know everybody has their own like agreement when it comes to that. Um, there was just a lot more levels in Galaxy that I remember, and now that I replayed it on the uh, on the 3D All Stars um, thing, kind of that. I feel like that's never been stronger. You know, it was just I. It was the one purple coin mission that I remember hating the most in that game was the. Uh, it was it, it, there was a purple coin mission in the Boo Galaxy that you had to collect a hundred out of one hundred and twenty, and if you missed a couple, and you had to use fling stars to get you through it. Man, did I not like that! That was so annoying to me back then. I remember I I spent hours trying to complete that as a kid and replaying it on 3D All Stars. <laughs> I remember there was a when I was playing through that again, there was a clip of me <laughs> that I posted on Twitter not too like years ago now I guess because it's been that long. Just ugh, crazy to think about. Uh, that <laughs> I collected all the purple coins and I just died like maybe an inch away from the star <laughs> and I absolutely hated that. It made me question if I was actually like enjoying these purple coin missions. Um, fun fact: I didn't, I didn't like them at all. And yeah, it was. I think that's what soured it. Uh, and but like, God, story-wise, oh my God, I love it. So maybe you are questioning me, like, why are you saying all this? I don't know. I like talking about this while collecting some useless blue coins along the way. Cause I mean, if the game creators are gonna just allow us to collect all these blue coins, I might as well collect them now, right? Get them out of the way. Cause uh, honestly, it's probably one of my biggest gripes with Sunshine. I hate that some of these blue coins are not grabbable and are episode based. Like some of these I know from the back of my hand only because um I had to look it up on a guide. Oh yeah, which this this blue coin shows up in this level on episode 3 only. And if you don't grab it, well you're out of luck, buddy. And that was so frustrating as a kid. I I, I want to know for people who who have played Sunshine, what is your honest opinion on that? Because I know everybody calls this game amazing, even though it's a glitchy mess. And uh, but no one really talks about blue coins. They'll always bring it up, and I've watched like different people review this game and give their opinion on it, but they never really describe the the stupidity of making the blue coins episode locked like that coin right there that I just collected I remember specifically I think that uh, that one blue coin is in episode 8 of Bianco Hills only episode 8 like if you I think if you I, I probably have to replay it because it has been an insanely long time since uh, the 3D All-Stars pack came out and I replayed the game. But I remember so clearly that that was just not in this episode. Like, but uh, I guess uh, like it, those who watch this video can, can correct me if I'm wrong. But I guess now we've, ha we've got plenty of blue coins. Let's, let's take this thing down. I person playing the instruments died face planted 
on whatever instrument they're supposed to be playing at this moment. All right, we're good. First shine and a couple of blue coins to go along with it. That's so cool. They know exactly that you can just go straight to to PD after this, and that's just so cool. Like I swear, that blue coin wasn't available either. <laughs> I think that's only available like after the secret is unlocked. And I know maybe you, while I've been rambling, you guys have, may have noticed that there's some openings. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, some of these places have openings, and those are openings to new areas. We'll, we'll be exploring those soon. I just kind of wanted to ramble on while we played Bianco Hills, because it feels like maybe everybody who has watched Sunshine in the past probably, probably knows this place already up and down and screw the the, the puzzle the platforming challenge this goes just straight up here let's go 20 blue coins only 10 left also look at this you can see uh, Pianta village here and there's like a walkway up there I love that absolutely love that and I can't wait to explore more about this game It's been a while. Did they change anything about you? Not really. Whoa, hello? Uh, <laughs> was that sunshine proving my point when it comes to the... Ooh. I was sunshine just proving my fact that this game is just a, a glitchy mess, and honestly, I just love it. I just love how you can manipulate the game sometimes. Especially, like, one of the more famous, like, sunshine skips being the... Having to carry Yoshi all the way to that stupid little island. And just having to just walk, there's a specific wall in Delphino Plaza, you can just, if you're fast enough, you just slip right through and down on the map you go. I just love stuff like that. It's just great. Here we go, second shine. Cave side, the hillside cave secret. Did you get the blue coin? No. I know some of these do. I know there's probably a guy up here that gives a blue coin. Okay, and again, episode exclusive. Yeah, it looks. This is insanely cool how you can even see um, 
God, it's been a while since I remember those. I know there's a that over there is a new level. Um, but one of the other levels is down there. I just love that. Oh my god, I love that. It's what Sunshine really needed to be. Just for it to be super special. Just being able to explore everything. But we'll definitely get to those. I guess no Shadow Mario, like, present, but, uh, anyway, amazing level, I love this song. Ooh, uh, you know what, I, <laughs> probably because I, I, I had recently started, like, replaying, like, 64, I don't, or just the mindset of Mario 64 is, oh yeah, I can, I can jump like that, and if I need to save myself, I can just, uh, elk, I can just kick and it'll push me backwards. And I was pushing B, I was about to push B when I jumped on that orange, like, cube and realized, oh wait, I don't have a kick, jump backwards. Easy level. We're going back for red coins. Oh, speak of the devil, red coins. Okay, that works. So, hmm, I kind of wish. So I I had played other sunshine mods after this, and one of the more like sunshine mods that I start to enjoy a lot. It kind of it got a little annoying because some of the some of the shines you weren't able to exit the level. But I, I should explain myself. The mod is Super Mario Sunburn, and originally I wanted to play that um, just randomly on stream, um, just to show people off how, how cool of a mod it was. Um, the thing I the reason why I bring this up is I really like that the creator of that mod made it so the red coins actually gave you two coins because that would just make collecting these coins much easier or just go collecting a hundred coins in this game much easier but uh, it's fine though there's uh, from what I'm looking at there's plenty of new coins scattered around that weren't here before so it looks like 100 coins isn't going to be that big of an issue, but it's definitely going to be time-consuming. But uh, we'll definitely leave 100 coins for another time, because I just don't feel like doing them. Uh, but yeah, just being able <laughs> to just walk around, talk, collect the 8 red coins, and not leave the level is just... Mwah. Just a cherry on top of this delicious ice cream. And I absolutely love it. Now if only I can perform platforming correctly. There we go. It's about to embarrass myself. Alright, red coin mission. Collect the eight red coins, good luck. I'm surprised I got that. I thought I was dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. happened okay, okay sunshine is at it again now it's really at it again okay just to play it safe let's just go over here 
What is going on with my water? Give me that one up. All right, two, eight, like eight red coin missions done. Petey Piranha Strikes Back. So, I guess another thing I should probably explore if rocket storage is still a thing. Should probably check that out. I know the rocket is available since episode four. Let's actually try this. Actually, I completely forgot to do rocket storage. Oh, that that was perfect, and then I messed it up. Uh, it's fine. Oh my god, that's so much high. <laughs> that's so crazy. I didn't notice how crazy that was until outside of the little temple thing we were in. That's crazy. Oh, I did get the blue corner here already. Alright, let's wake him up. That didn't count, I guess. Uh, third time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. Look, I think that big headed monster is sleeping over there. If it wakes up, it'll probably go on another rampage. Can't we just get rid of the whole while it's snoozing? We only got something to bonk it with. Well, we do. I did. You gonna stop here? Yeah, you are. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the whole UI eclipse is so cool as well. Double tornadoes. Oh my god, the tornado. Oh my god, you were so fast! What was that? Die. Give me water. Yes. Where are you going, bud, huh? Oh my god. Hurry up. Oh, there you go. I was about to say maybe I was too late. You're gonna get in the way. Get out of here. How are you not dead? Wow, he didn't travel much. Come on, you're stalling. Four? Hello, five? 
There, I got hit by it. Can you open your mouth? I swear, he was much lower before. Maybe they made him, like, spew out faster for challenge. But whatever, we got the shine. Secret of the Dirty Lake. Fun fact, this level sucks. <laughs> I remember as a kid that I really didn't like this shine. Only because of the terrible lily pads that can be seen in different levels. A specific level that comes to mind is the worst level in the game. But as a kid, I could never get to the to the this shine in particular the way Nintendo wanted it, which was get on a lily pad probably and then find your way over there. I could never do that. So, why not what I ended up doing which ended up becoming a lot more riskier for me as a kid because I didn't. Um, this is still one of my first like Mario games, so what I ended up doing was just jumping from all the way up here. Can I use this? I can. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I, this is gonna suck if it doesn't work. I forgot to pick that up, but it's fine. I really don't like this level. <laughs> if anything, I'm glad the long jump is here, only so I could finish this level quicker. I think, also, I don't remember what mod I played in particular. It was probably a Galaxy mod. Someone tried recreating these levels in a different Mario engine, and you can definitely tell that the engine for Sunshine is very different, and it's probably the reason why it's buggy as hell. Because uh, some some of these, like, walls can be extremely vertical or just look very weird climbing up. Like, this section I, I absolutely hate, and I get so much anxiety from only because of the weird physics that Mario can just walk up a really slanted wall. But I do remember, like, there was a- No! Uh, well, first death. Well, as I was saying, there was a mod in particular I remember playing that tried recreating this level, and going up this- that second cube was a nightmare. I don't remember where I saw that, or what mod specifically I'm thinking of. I just remember that it was terrible, and I hated it. This cube... I lost a lot of lives in this cube. Only because, at this point, you pretty much have to memorize where it's gonna go. Look at that. Sometimes the physics just work. <laughs> Sometimes the physics will just Mario butt slide you. And that's one of the like the one of the things I just hate about Sunshine. It's the physics. Okay. Shine get. Shadow Mario on the loose. Mm -hmm. 
So this is gonna be extremely hard. Just a Shadow Mario level. Oh wait, we're done. Yeah, that wasn't too hard. So, also, I guess I should probably bring this up. The red coins. I know that everybody loves to complain about the red coins in Mario 64. But, can you really, and we, we, a lot of people I know love defending this game over 64 and just saying which one of these two games is better. Is there really gonna be some people who are defending this game knowing that there's four red coin, like, missions in this one world? Episode 4 is red coins, episode 3 has secret red coins, episode 6 has secret red coins, and episode 8 is more red coins. So that means, like what? Four of the 11 shines, which is nearly half of the start of the shine sprites here, are red coins. And I'm surprised nobody talks about that. <laughs> Every secret level, it's cool that the secret levels have an, an extra hidden shine in parentheses, but they're all red coin missions. That's boring and dumb. Son of a god. <laughs> Oh, well, that boom might have been one of those, one of the people that defend that. Oh well, it's it's different. It's different. It's not different. I'm sorry to tell you this. This is not different. I'm legitimately. I the, the one thing is there's only a few people that I know that are really into Mario. And I just wish I had, like, actual just a conversation with someone when it comes to defending this game over 64. Because I know there's a, there's a lot of people I've talked to in my past that prefer this game over 64, and I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. There's just a lot wrong with this game. And again, it's not a bad game. I grew up with it, and it's one of my absolute favorite childhood games. There's just some points of it where I'm just like, there's no way. Right? There's just no way. Like, the, uh, I know I'm probably full of nostalgia goggles myself, but there's no way the nostalgia goggles could block this much. Can I get this? No, of course I can't. I'm gonna have to do it the baby way. I'm doing it the baby way. I guess while I'm up here, where is the last red coin? It's so dark, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, somewhere down there. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's grab this blue coin right here. Okay, that didn't squish him. Oh my god, too much speed! Whoa! Oh, actually, no, we haven't cleaned that guy. Should probably clean that guy for another blue coin. And I think the. From what I remember, the rest of the blue coins, we need Yoshi here. So. We'll just ignore them for now. Give us a blue coin. Oh, I already got his. Okay. Actually, what other places have I not looked that have a blue coin? How many am, am I missing? I'm missing seven. Wow. Where are the other blue coins? There's blue butterflies. There's two blue butterflies, I know that. There's one in the beehive. 
Oh, there's one here I forgot to collect. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. Where could the other five be? Is there one? Did I miss the one that's right here? No, right? This I already collected this. Ugh, the sunshine problems. I'm trying to remember where all the freaking blue coins are. I guess a lot, I know a lot of people try to bring this up as well. I love how in this game, and even in the beginning cutscene, um, Mario's blamed for the Sunshine's disappearing and corrupting their beautiful home. Oh yes, endangering our very way of life. And uh, no one talks about how there's a raccoon with a stork. <laughs> That has 24 shines in it. Nobody seems to talk about that. Our sunshines that were beautifully stored in our gate. Mario stole 96 of them. But this raccoon stole 24 of them. It's just, he just has a little store. You know what? Why not? He's free to do whatever he wants. He didn't do anything bad. Except steal the thing we very much value. That was... Oh no, that was such a bad decision. Come here. Come here. Okay, that works. Oh, I thought I landed on the cord. Maybe there's another blue coin that I missed in the lake. Oh, if I had the rocket nozzle, that'd be a lot. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the turbo nozzle, that'd be a lot quicker. Actually, is the guy. There's a guy here that. It's all painy and goopy, and he also gives me another blue coin. Uh, I don't think he's. Doing that right now. Uh, I doubt this is gonna kick me out, right? There's no way. Cool. Let's actually go collect the other, f the fourth red coin star in this level. Actually. Red coin, blue coin over here. It's probably somewhere over here, from what I remember. Even just thinking of the blue coin I collected earlier. No, never mind. It's over here. Okay, that makes twenty six. So butterfly with with Yoshi. And the same goes for the bees. So I think we're good. Now we just need Yoshi to come in here into play. Except there's one guy that needs to clean, be cleaned up. But I forgot what episode that is in. What do you gotta say? This is the Cliff Spring Cave. And it's open. Enter by all means. E I don't know if that was a smart move. It was not a smart move. <laughs> well, this is going to be a lot harder. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna like this. Should have picked up the. Should have left the turbo nozzle alone. Well, Flood might as well be useless in this level. Oh no. 
No. Because I was looking around to see if I missed one. Well, I didn't miss one. There's no way I'm going back up here with the other one. No, if I had the hover nozzle. <laughs> you know what? YOLO! No, 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 no! Too much. Okay, let's try that again. Two here, there's only two here. Just remember, there's only two here. Come on, come on, come on. Eee, it's too much. <laughs> okay, okay. S steady. Just gotta calm myself. There's a task of collecting uh, red coins like this, but uh, with a turbo nozzle. Like, that'd be cool to watch. Oh, well, it'd be panic inducing, but it'd be cool to watch. That's the yellow one. There we go. Okay, okay. Keep in mind, there's a red coin around here. Ooh. Okay. Three left in 30 seconds. I can't believe I landed that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. I missed! Okay, okay. It's fine. We got it. Whew, the pressure. Don't die. Just don't do something stupid. Oh, that almost qualified. Something stupid, but it's fine. We're good. Whew. The pressure. And that's it. We will come back to Bianco Hills for the red coins. Sorry, the hundred coins and the blue coins. For now, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching. I think next time on Super Mario Eclipse, let's actually explore one of the new areas. And I saw it on the side of, uh, of I Isle Delfino when I was collecting the Shine in the Green Pipe. Hope to see you there.